What's up gamers? So this is going to be my part two for my little journaling video series, I guess, of my New Horizons journal. So I actually did plan ahead for this next section, so I'm just going to flip through and show you just like what I've laid out so far. I haven't filled in everything yet, but these are just like the templates that I already did. So yeah, there's like the housing upgrade progress, just where I'm going to list my house upgrades, and then the bells that I have in my bank. And then I have a little museum guide that I'm going to plan out today, and then you guys will see that. So yeah, I also have milestones, and then the what I did on my first day, so that's what I'm going to start with right now. I really like this layout, I think it looks really cute and colorful, and so I'm just filling in all the information of like what airport I got, what fruit I got, the villagers, and all that fun stuff. So, hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, as you can see, I got Coach and Charlize. I was really glad that I got Coach, because he's my boo. Um, Charlize is okay, I guess. I mean, I feel like I'd want to kick her out and replace her for like Vesta or someone because I'm hoping I get Vesta soon um, and then yeah I didn't reset because the only reason I would have reset was probably if I got like pears or like super ugly villagers or something but I got apples so I was like that's good and then I kind of like I like my villagers so I think it turned out all right so yeah now I'm just adding some washi tape to make it more cohesive and like more filled in Okay, so now I'm just filling in everything that I accomplished on my first day. So basically that little intro in that video that I posted, basically everything that I did for the first day on my island. So like meeting everyone, you know, deciding where to put the everyone's tents and stuff. And then um, like having a little cheers moment at the, the campsite, which was really cute. So I'm just filling that in right now. I also added a little thing at the bottom for the first tool, you know, accessory, clothing, whatever that I got, just to like add a little aspect, maybe like something I wanted to remember that I thought would be cute. So that's what I'm doing right now. And that's the completed spread for the first page. Next I'm going to do the milestones page, which is basically where I'm going to write down every like important event or like milestone in my opinion that I think is worth remembering. So I'm just going to, I'm going to date it and then write a little synopsis about what it was. Alright, then there's the finished part. I actually did end up writing more later, you'll see that at the end. Um, but now I'm working on the house upgrade progress page where I'm going to date and then write down um, what house upgrade I get. So like the date that I got it and then like the first upgrade and then like what color roof I chose and then how much it costs because I'm crazy and I don't know 
I just wanted to like document that for some reason. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for this page. As you can see, I already like decorated it with little villagers and random stickers that I had in the sticker book. Alright, this next page is where I'm keeping track of my bells that I have in my bank. So again, I'm just going to like date how much bells I have for every single day and then write down how much is in the bank. Because I know if I like did it by like pocket, that would fluctuate too much. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do however much money I have in my bank and then like maybe if I withdraw money or whatever, then I can change it. But yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to keep track of this for some reason. I saw someone posted um, something like this on their Twitter for their journal and I was like, oh, that's cute. It's kind of crazy like that I'm like, okay, so this date I'm going to write down how much bells I have and whatever, but like, I don't know, it gives me something to do because like, you know, we're in quarantine or whatever, so I don't know. It's cute and wholesome. As you can see, I finished, but I did end up adding more dates later because this took a while to film. But yeah, this page, I'm just making a cute little cover page and then I'm going to go into the museum with like the fishing page, the bugs page, and the fossil page. I would add an art page, but I don't know if they're even having art and paintings in this game. I don't know, we'll find out, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Alright, after gluing the pages together, I'm going to get started on the fish page. So, for this page, the idea was I was going to keep track of every fish that I had donated in the museum. But I kind of, my idea was kind of messed up in this. Like, I ended up writing a yes column and a no column. And I, I realized I didn't need the no column. Because I could just, like, fill in the box for yes if I had it. So, I ended up changing that for the other two pages. Because my planning for this was one page of documentation of like every fish but it's not actually every fish because I couldn't fit all of it it's just a few of it because <laughs> I didn't want to have like 10 pages of just fish names you know because there's so much and then the next page it's like photographs from the museum that I thought were cute and then it like copies that same pattern for the next two so that's what you're going to see me doing for these next few pages. So yeah, as you can see here is me filling in all the fish names. Obviously, if you want to recreate something like this for your journal, don't add the no column. And I don't know if you want to add all the fish. Maybe I should have written smaller so I could have crammed more in. But I don't know. I think it's fine. I'm just going to like mark off a few of them just to keep track. Because I know um, in the game it actually tells you if you've donated fish already or bugs or whatever. So I like how they added that little element. But I just figured I'd also 
just fill some pages in my journal and include this. Because I think, I don't know, it's cute. All the museum stuff and collecting stuff is cute. So that's what I'm doing for this. So here I'm starting on the photograph page. So I basically just went to the museum in town when it finally opened and then took photos in the aquarium area, which I think is so cute. I love how they updated all the museum rooms. I think they look super cute. And so I'm just adding those photos here just as like memories of like the fish that I have. Cause I know it's not all filled up yet, but I just wanted to add that in this. So now I'm just decorating this page with some more stickers and stuff. I wanted this page to have like the blue theme because it's like fish and water and stuff like that. So I'm just adding little blue stickers and designs on this page. Alright, so that's the finished spread for this page. I think it looks cute. I just went back to just see how I was going to plan out for the bug page, which I'm starting now. This one, I wanted to have an orangey vibe because I think that would look cute. And so now I'm just failing at doing the Animal Crossing font from memory. Hi, just popping in again. Um, I'm doing the same layout as you can see, but I just wanted to say 
Do you guys also keep the first bug and fish that you catch? Because I do that. I don't know why. I get like emotionally attached to whatever insect or fish that I catch first. And so I will like keep them in my house and name them forever because I love them. So I just want to know if anyone else does that. Comment below if you get emotionally attached to little animals and insects on a video game. Also, oh my gosh, I think this page is cute. I just like adding the little bug stickers and then making them look like it's flying around the page. I don't know, I thought that was a cute, just a cute little aspect. And then now I'm filling in all the bugs that I've caught. This obviously isn't all the bugs. Again, I didn't want to write them all down. And I honestly couldn't remember which ones I have caught or not. So I mean, this could be wrong, this could be right, but I'll probably go back and fill it in more in depth later. So for these photo pages, I wanted to write something at the top, but I didn't know what to write. And I didn't want it to just be like, fish, more fish, bugs, more bugs. So I was just like, okay, let's come up with a cute little sentence that I can write at the top of the page. So it says, be good to bugs. Thanks, Cave Town. So now I'm rearranging the photographs that look super cute with the orange theme. And I added the little chameleon guy. Can't remember his name, but he likes bugs, so I put him on the bug page. Yay, there's the finished bug page. Super cute and orange and fun. So next I'm going to be doing the fossil page. And I was kind of disappointed in the lack of fossil stickers in the sticker book. There was only like two stickers for fossils. So I was like, damn, I actually had already used one before on my switch. And then the other one I ended up putting on the next page. But yeah, this spread I wanted to make purple because the fossils are like kind of a purpley blue color. As you can see, I literally had to add this cute little purple horse guy because there was no good fossil stickers. But I think he'd be looking pretty cute. So now I'm doing the photo page. I wrote, discover the incredible on it because <laughs> I'm fun and quirky and cute. And then I'm taping it all in with this fun ice cream washi tape that I got at Michael's, which I think looks cute because it's purple, so it goes with the theme. Wow, I love a color scheme. And then I went in to add another horse villager because I'm a horse girl and I love horses. Pretty much I'm just adding random villagers because I was like, hey, I have 800 villager stickers. Let me just throw some guys in here. And there she is, the finished fossil page. And so now I'm gonna show you all of the pages together and it's gonna be super cute. So here's the first page. I just love how colorful it is. Coach, I see you, my king. I think it looks super cute. And then we have the milestones. I added more, obviously. Annabelle moved in today as I'm filming this. Yes, queen. And then my house upgrades. I'm currently at my third upgrade, paying for my fourth right now. And then my bells page. And as you can see, she is rich, honey, 13,000 in the bank. And now we're doing the museum section. So we got the fish. I crossed out for the nose, the ones I don't have, just, you know, make use of my mess up. And then the cute museum photos, looking snazzy. And then the bug page. I have a lot of bugs, honestly. I don't have all of the, the fun beetles because that's the Southern Hemisphere stuff, but she'd be a bug collector. 
Okay, and then my buck page and then the fossils. I did not even try to fill out that because I need to look at my collection and see what I have. But yeah, there's the final fossil page looking so fun and fresh. I'm probably going to add more later, but that's what I have now as my little New Horizons journal. And per usual, I'm going to flex my amiibo cards. So here they are. But oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Honestly, we have like 120 subscribers. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you, Elena Naders. I love you all. Um, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Make sure to add me. If you haven't, all my Switch and Animal Crossing codes will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.